Did Broden send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? A relic of the Republic of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you want to know? We go way back. Like, way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know? Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military, and I became an engineer. Not through any shop, that's for sure. It's out of production, so you'll have to make it yourself. So, first things first, the transmuter chip. Once you got that squared away, it should be as easy as popping in the materials you need. Piece of cake, right? Well, turned out he was a natural-born trooper. Was even hand-picked to take part in a super-secret experiment. It wasn't long after that we lost contact. By the time we reconnected, he'd already put that life behind him. What experiment? Have to ask him, though I doubt he'd tell you. Certainly won't tell me, at any rate. Whatever they did to him, though, has something to do with his condition. I just know it. He's been to doctor after doctor, but all the tests come back inconclusive. So I'm digging through old Republic archives, looking for something that might help, something a doctor might overlook. Just hope I find what he needs soon. Windmill's counting on you, friend. Perhaps I can be of service. If you wish to learn more about the Republic of Junon, I recommend visiting Life Springs. The knowledge they contain will reveal the location of transmuter chips, as well as other points of interest. I hope that helps your search. Okay. Life Springs it is. Fine by me. Only fitting that we learn the history of the planet as we seek to cross her. So, what do you want to know? Windmill's counting on you, friend. Look at that! You've stumbled upon a life spring. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. Could that be a live stream? Unusual fiend activity nearby. 
to procure the biological data that we require. You'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck! Fiends run this place. Rare Mandragora variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. It may look like nothing more than a wrinkly plant, but don't be fooled. Mandragora roots are capable of functioning as legs, allowing them to actively pursue sunlit locations as they shift throughout the day. Too bad. Tokobos seem to adore feasting on the bean seeds. I can't help but wonder what this fear is. For her research, they prove beneficial for the Chocobo raising on the moon. So what if you give your feathers friends? Oh, those banders go up down. I believe in you. Analyze biological data. That's fair. I see you haven't completed your objectives for that battle. Well, you're always welcome to make another attempt.
dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare Toxarath variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The pungent odor that these fiends release when threatened is so effective at driving away predators that their population has exploded. This particular variant is extremely dangerous, capable of spitting toxic fluids on its prey before attacking in mass. Such tactics allow them to hunt creatures as large as alpha ducks. Imagine something like that creeping into every corner it can find, and you'll understand why they're considered such a menace. With any luck, the data we collect here will aid us in finding a way to reduce their numbers. I know you! You sure you want to find there? I got your mark. Don't overdo it. Why don't you lead the I way? I got you. Bring it! This one's for you! Pull off! Come on! Give them your all! Keep it up! One more shot! Speak of it! Come on!
won't let you down. Enjoy the run. For a Rare Alpha Dog variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The docile disposition of the Alpha Dog led to a wide range of options. So... Applications include agriculture, transportation, and even warfare. Variants like That's this. Power. Earth, where value is a source of high speed trust in these perplexing craft. They are a notoriously difficult creature to raise the <laughs> and were usurped by the now ubiquitous Chocobo. At present, the only person in the wild alpha dust can be found here, in the grasslands. Hawks are aggressive, especially in the forest, which is why we must study them thoroughly before they become a threat to our animals and humans. <laughs> What 
welcome to our Moogle Emporium. Though, I'm sorry to say, we aren't open quite yet, and I'm not even sure when we will be. <laughs> Those Mooglets are refusing to come back, and we can't do business without them, Kubo. Actually, maybe you wouldn't mind helping? The Mooglets are having too much fun to come back on their own, so I want you to round them up. And then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy, Kubo! Uh, fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Kubo! Exchange Moogle medals for cool stuff we found lying around. Everything's great, I promise. Just so you know, there are six more mod stools out there, Koopo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Koopo. Right? Which means we can finally go legit! 
Gentlemen, today we're founding fast. Huh? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, what uh, the hell are you people doing here? Oh hell no! Don't you dare act like you've forgotten best badasses! Yeah, you won't sit to our home and beat us to shit! We hadn't even done nothing! You big jerks! You're responsible for the destruction of our charitable organization! Oh, are we? News to me. Ha! Ha! Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I would too. And it looks like crap. But it's definitely pulsing with a ridiculous amount of power. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Hey, Cloud. Isn't that... <laughs> Midgar isn't big enough for us. We're taking our operations worldwide. We've gone legit. We're a business now. <laughs> They're a special kind of stupid. If Shinra could take over the world with Mako, then all we gotta do is find our own treasures, and then we'll be on top! <laughs> yeah! We're gonna appreciate all the things! Hold on, now you're after our treasure? Well, sucks to be you, we found it! Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it! <laughs> Hand it over, now. Ah, you really think that's enough to intimidate the life soon? No, please, it's all yours. Just don't hurt us again. My dad! My dad! Would you oh, so oh, we're freaking out! Now listen here, no nuts. I got a foolproof plan. Yeah. I call it... Use a decoy! Yeah? Uh -huh. Oh, oh, decoy. Decoy. Oh, decoy means so who's so, the decoy? Uh, All of you, that's who. Gentlemen, it has been an honor. It is the time. Meet back in the hideout. Damn it! Decoys are dead! Uh, 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 <laughs> Too bad. Bandits beat us to it. Oh? I see. Fortunately, I've already ascertained the proto-relic's destination. Would you mind heading there? Yeah. 
Gotcha. It's Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> 